Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, die cuts. I love die cuts. So this might be stupid, but if you don't know what a die cut is, because at one point I didn't, um, a die cut is simply just a shape, like a design that is cut out in the shape of the design. So basically instead of it being like a square sticker with a design on it, it's cut out into the actual shape of the design. And not all die cuts are stickers, but a lot of them are. So uh, most, if not all of these that I have here in my little die cut collection are stickers. So you can use them as stickers if you would like. Today's video, I'm going to uh, share with you five different uses for die cuts, and five different ways that I use mine. Because when I started, uh, when I became a Bay Box subscriber from the Honeybee Shop back in, I believe it was September, my first one was the Personality Crisis 2.0. I quickly realized I was going to end up with quite the collection of die cuts and I wanted to not hoard them all and actually use them. I know it's hard, but <laughs> it led me to uh, being pretty creative and thinking of different ways that I could use these. So the first way to use die cuts is to decorate your planner cover. Now it depends on obviously what kind of cover you have. Um, not all covers will allow you to put you know, stickers on them just because I like the texture of it. But with this particular cover, this is my um, half letter disc bound. This is my social media planner. And the cover is just like a really hard leather. And I just couldn't stand it being plain and just, just a black cover. Like, no, that's just screaming for, you know, decorate it. So what did I do? Slap some die cuts on here. Now, some of these die cuts are pretty old um, and they're from, you know, when I was using this as just a notebook way back in the day. Um, these are from Creepy Kawaii Design I got at a um, game festival at MAGFest a few years back. And these die cuts, so you'll probably be able to tell, but these four are from the Honeybee Shop and these are from Personality Crisis 2.0. And then this is one of the freebies that came <laughs> with my recent order and I love it. Oh, and this die cut is from um, Paper House Productions. This is from their um, mental health line. I believe it was just called mental health die cuts. And something, something to note while I'm looking at this is not all die cuts are waterproof. Um, I will say that the honeybee shop ones are, so that basically means you can, well, we'll get to that, but just be aware that not all die cuts are waterproof. Now we're going to move on to our next one, which is to decorate your pockets. Now I removed my clips because I was my paper clips because I was using them for something else. So that's why they're all flopping all over the place. But another way to use your die cuts is to decorate your pockets. If you have a player cover that has pockets, um, it's just kind of begging for you to decorate them, right? And what I did with these is I actually laminated them. So they are, you know, they were stickers. Now they're not because they're laminated. I really wanted to keep them like in good condition. And um, so I thought I would laminate them, cut them out and just use them to decorate my pockets. And I just absolutely love the way that they look. Again, I need to get my clips back because they're starting to like fall out and I want to get the placement just right. Um, and then you'll see here, I slapped one of these, <laughs> one of these die cuts on the inside front cover and the stickers from Uncharted 4, but, um, I just absolutely love, you know, laminating die cuts, cutting them out and then having them as like a permanent, um, piece of, you know, decor in my planner. And you can really, um, you know, customize it since you, you're not sticking a sticker down, um, and you are just, you know, laminating it and decorating, you can easily just take these all out and completely start over if you you know want to change your theme or whatever but I love laminating die cuts I just think it's so like satisfying there's something about it <laughs> that I really like um it's just very relaxing and yeah so I really like to decorate um, my pockets in my various planners with die cuts and you don't have to laminate them you know like here's one that's not laminated um well here let's choose one that's a better size. 
So this one's not laminated. You can obviously just stick them right in the pocket if you don't have a laminator. That's perfectly fine. I just wanted to keep mine, um, you know, in good condition because I know how I am and I'd probably bend them and get them all scratched up and everything. But yeah, so that is my second way to use die cuts is to decorate a pocket in your planner. So a third way that you can use die cuts is to decorate your dashboards in your planner. So these dashboards I created using all Honeybee Shop papers, and this is a journaling card. And I also used some of the die cuts to create custom dashboards. And I really like how it, how it turned out. Um, and if you wanna see the full video of me, you know, setting up my social media planner, I will uh, put that link in the cards and in the description so you can check out how I um, made all these. But I just love being able to completely customize my dividers. And I know that, you know, all of my dividers are completely unique to me and I build my own custom planner. And so I don't use die cuts on every single month. But sometimes you just feel like it needs a little something, like here. And again, you do not have to laminate them. So actually what I've learned from, you know, playing around and trial and error is when I laminate these die cuts that have foil, um, it definitely, you can still see the foil, but it definitely um, decreases it. Like it kind of uh, dulls it is what I'm, the, the word I'm looking for. It kind of dulls the foil a little bit. And I want the foil to be like popping. So <laughs> for um, for these that had the foil, this one didn't, I just like the way it looked, but I didn't laminate um, these. But the great thing is that because these are, you know, they're waterproof and they're very like um, good quality, you're not going to have to worry about them getting all messed up when they're inside your planner like this. So you don't have to laminate them at all. I happened to do that when I was messing with these. Um, and they still, you can still see the foil, it still looks very cute. I just noticed, um, particularly with uh, hollow foil, it seems that um, it just kind of dulls it a little bit when I laminate it. And something else to keep in mind is, um, I really love how this one turned out, but what's great about this is, and this one's also laminated, um, what's great about it is that since this actual piece of paper is laminated, but the stickers aren't, these are very easy to peel up and move. So if I decide, hey, I wanna move this to a, a different paper, I can very easily, you know, take a little X-Acto knife, get under there, and it comes right up um, because this is laminated and these are, you know, high quality. Um, so that's something to keep in mind as well if you're creating dividers and you want to use die cuts to decorate. If you laminate them, obviously they are permanently on there, but if you want to just stick them right on top, you can move them around in the future. So another way you can use die cuts is to decorate your tumblers. Now, I don't have mine here with me. It's actually in the, in the kitchen. I need to wash it. Uh, but I'm going to insert some pictures of it. And I actually have two tumblers I'll put pictures in. Um, one is the one I use for water, and the other one is the one I use for uh, mainly for iced coffee. <laughs> and um, I find that these work super well for decorating those because, again, these from the Honeybee Shop are waterproof. Now, like I said, keep in mind, because I didn't realize that these from Paper House are not waterproof. They don't claim to be. I just, I don't know why I assumed that they were. Um, but these are not waterproof. So I actually had a couple of these on my water bottle and they ended up getting ruined because when I washed it, it would ruin them. But if you have, um, you know, any kind of die cuts that claim to be waterproof, you can slap them right on your tumbler, on your water bottle. And they just are a really great way to customize um your, you know, your bottle that you're going to look at every day. And um, another thing to keep in mind, and I know that, you know, shops mention this, I know Honeybee, you know, Shan mentions this, um, but if you have die cuts that have foil, which at some point you probably will, and um, they're going to have some sort of foil, just don't put your uh, tumbler in the dishwasher because the dishwasher, the heat is what ruins the foil. And that's why when I laminate those ones with the foil, it kind of dulls it a little bit. And if you use a dishwasher, it's going to be much, much hotter and all the moisture and everything. Um, just don't do it. I just hand wash my, my tumblers uh, to make sure that I don't, you know, take that risk. Um, but yeah, decorating your tumblers is a great way to use die cuts. Okay, and my final tip for 
uh, how you can use die cuts is using them as photo props. And um, that's something that I kind of <laughs> realized once I, you know, was taking a picture of something, one of my planner spreads. I can't remember what I was doing. I think it was one of my spreads. And I didn't have props that really matched the spread. And I said, wait, why don't I just use the die cuts? So say I was taking a picture of, I wanted to take a picture of this monthly divider and I didn't really have anything to put around it to kind of decorate the photo. I could take these die cuts and just place them around. And that is one way that you can, you know, decorate, make your photo a little bit more fun. Obviously, if they aren't laminated, it's a little bit easier to, <laughs> to uh, photograph just because it won't shine but yeah so you can just kind of place them around and that really just adds like a cute element to uh, your photos when you feel like you don't have a lot of props you can you can just use those um and another kind of bonus thing is using papers so when i get a new bay box and i use the sticker book uh usually the the photo like the first photo of usually when i photograph like that first spread where i've used the sticker book I'll use the papers from the bait box to kind of decorate and use as a background. And then I'll put the die cuts on top of the papers. So it's just something to, to kind of, um, you know, change it up. If you just feel like you need something um, to spice up your photo for Instagram, you can use the die cuts. I'm just going to slide these back into my pocket here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope that, um, and I hope that, you know, you have discovered some new ways to use the die cuts that you have. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any tips, any ways that you use your die cuts that I didn't mention that you would like to share. I would love to hear it. Obviously, we are, you know, I think uh, most of us are kind of building up this collection here of die cuts and we just need more ways to, <laughs> to use them so we're not hoarding all of them. Um, and I do keep all of them in this little, I have this little like cup here that I got a Dollar Tree during uh, Halloween. I think it's super cute. And I just put them all in the cup and they're not really organized. They're just kind of thrown in there, but it's just a good way to store them and have them, you know, so I can see them pretty easily and reach for them. Um, so that's, I guess that could be a tip <laughs> if you're wondering how you can store them. Cause I was gonna put them like in an album, but I knew that if I did that, I would forget what I had. And then I wouldn't reach for them because they wouldn't be easily accessible. So I decided to just stick them here in this cup that lives on my planner cart. And that way I can, you know, kind of always see it. And it's always, uh, it's always there so I can remember what I actually have so that I actually use the stuff. All right. So there's my cup of die cuts. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out. And be sure to subscribe if you have not, and I will see you next time.